Okay, great, awesome. Okay, so um, I've been told that you, you've all warmed up because we'll do a few kicks. Um, if you've got any questions, I would uh, probably say just put your hand up and, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to see you. And, uh, and then Andy can unmute you. Yes. <laughs> works. Sorry? Just checking it works. Look at it that. Does. Perfect. Like a smooth running machine. Okay. So, uh, so we're going to do a few kicks. So make sure, don't push it too hard with it. You know, if you've got any injuries, don't be daft with it. You know, you can cheat as much as you like because you're at home. So we'll get on with it, right? So we're going to start with some of the punches first, though, okay? So from here, come on. So we're going to do it in a kind of Jukumite format, okay? So we're not going to do a basic Oizuki. So when we're coming forward, what? Oizuki and snap, okay? So a snap punch when we're doing Oizuki. Nice and relaxed though. So if you are very restricted in your, if you're very restricted in your space, then, you know, obviously you can pull your front leg back and do Oizuki. But uh, that's your choice, okay? So from here, slow first, okay? Each punch and back. Knee. So it's oizuki, so we're stepping, yeah? Thumb. Chi. Oh. Good. So when you do an oizuki, the speeds are the slowest part of your move is your, or your legs, okay? The second is your fist, and the last part is your hips. But they're all going to work at a different speed, but they all need to land at the same time. Oh, so that's the key. So what you don't want is, you don't want your hips finishing here, land punch. So you can keep this hip back, keep this hand in its position. As you're landing forward, 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 foot, foot lands, fist, and then the hip engages and it all lands together. That's the timing. And that's when you get impact. So don't let your hips finish and then your oizuki happen. Or don't let your foot land and your oizuki happen because you lose your power. Oh. That's Shotokan. It's that dynamic move and all of it hitting the target at the same time. So you want that, that action, okay? And it's timing, not speed. Itch. Good. Like somebody's pulling your shoulder and your elbow back a little bit as you're going. Knee. Oh. Son. Good. And also, it's your choice whether you just from here into come out or cover with the uh, with the opposite hand. And to cover with the opposite hand. Because you're ready to cover whatever's coming and then the punch can go again. Okay? Push again. Right? Each. Me. San. Chi. Looks like some of you have done this before, okay? So listen, when you're, when you're doing this punch, when we do this kind of an action, a more advanced, I think Nakayama said, once you get to show down, you down, it's always a snap punch. You never leave your fist there. That's only for practice. So when you're doing this action, it's got to be like the target is white hot. It's got to snap up. Don't place it, then come back. Don't do two moves. It's got to be... A snap off, okay? Right, last five on this side. Let's try. Knee. Come. Oh. Good, yummy. Shake it off. Good, change of the side. Come on. Huge. Relax. Relax your upper body. Knee. And it's oizuki. Step. Sam. Good. Chi. Go. 
Brook. Okay, five fast, ready? You want to be here, you want to feel this connection to here. Don't just let it be your shoulders, okay? It's all this, okay? Beach. Shake it off. So, I'm sure a lot of you know, a lot of it's not about speed, it's about timing, okay? Oh. And if you get the timing wrong, then you can lose a lot of impact and a lot of power, okay? So it's all about that. Yes, you've got to move your feet fast, that's the slowest part. And then the hip comes in, boom, last minute, but they've all got to land together. That's the key, okay? So this time, come on. So, Kizamuzuki, okay? So from here, we're going to do heel step, yeah? So, yeah, so your foot's going to come up, and then Kizamuzuki, yeah? So, foot up, Kizami, slow first. Itch. Knee. Stand. Go. Go. Good. Okay, so just like the Orizuki, we want to have a good default kick. Uh, and then later on, you can play around with it. Same with our kicks, okay? So, what you don't want to do is this it still doesn't want to be a jab, okay? At this stage, you want to work on getting this bit involved, okay? So your hands will be, they're in this position, that will rotate and this will come back. Your hips will rotate, but they'll also extend. So your hips don't just do this, they do that. Same as you do when you do an arake. You do, your hips don't do this on a racket. Your hips extend on a racket, no, just rotate. So it's the same with the kizami. Don't just let it be your shoulder and your arm, just let you jabbing away. From here, get used to thinking that it's all, let me just put this down a little bit. From here, look, your feet, come on, here, look, my body stays here. And then as you go in this position, extend, hikite, in this instance, okay? So it's not just jabbing your front hand. Try and get everything involved in it, okay? Should we try again? Slow it down if you like. Each. Knee. Rotate. Push. San. Rotate and extend. Shi. Go. So you want to be thinking of it as a finisher. It's not a warm up to a yakazuki or a lead. Bam, that's the one. Cracking into the target, okay? Let's try again. Plus. Itch. Good. Knee. Sun. She. Oh. Yeah. The other thing is, don't get used to this. Awesome. It feels good. It feels good because you roll it in, bang, and do that. But when you do, when you're fighting, that is forever. That's a long time. It's awesome. going to go from there, straight. Don't cock the hand back, then start the punch. Just because the bigger move feels good. Don't. This is small, look. This does all the big bit, okay? That's the finisher, okay? Let that do it all, not your arm, okay? Last five. Pause. Eat. Less is more. Knee. Sup. Chi. Go. 
Yeah. Ah. Good. Okay. Two stunts. So you're keeping your elbows in and extend. The more relaxed you are, the easier this move is. Okay. Each. Elbows in. Elbows in. Knee. Tom. She. Go. Yeah. Rook. Yeah. Sheet. Okay, with speed. Ready? So oh. light on your feet and that feet. Remember, like I said, the feet are the slowest part of the move. So that's where it's got to be quick. Okay, fast feet. Ready? Yeah. Knee. Top. Shit. Go, Kiei. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yummy. And shake it off. Excellent. Good. Okay. So this time, Yakuzuki. Yeah? What? Come on. So we're going to come up. Come up and Yakuzuki. Okay? So again, oh. everybody's quite comfortable doing Yakuzuki. It seems because it's a nice big movement, big hip movement. The big fault with this, a little bit like we were talking about the Oizuki, is people tend to land, then punch. Or the hip goes early, then you punch. Remember, this is what's happening. Your feet come up, your hips come knee, the leg goes out. As it goes out, almost finished, hands reaching, going, boom, foot, fist, hip, breath, all at the same time, okay? Oh. You all leave at a different time, they all align together. Slow first, okay? Come on. So again, feel like somebody's pulling your shoulder and your hip back a little bit. So you can really have impact. Each. Boom, snap off. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Yeah. Look. Cheat. Ah. Good. Okay. So I would say that quite a few of you are doing what I said. You're landing, then you're punching. And it's, it's really easy to get into that. Um, that's why, you know, I have a Makiwari in my dojo and I use that quite a bit to get the timing right. You yes. want your foot and your fist to land together. Don't get into that land punch, land punch together, okay? And some of you, you're landing and then your hips are square, then the punch happens. So you've lost all that, all that that you work on in your basics, okay? Let's try yes. again. Keep it slow. It's not about speed, it's timing, okay? Push. Each. Each. Sun. She. Go. Yeah. Okay, with speed, ready? Push. Fast speed, fast speed, but very relaxed shoulders. Push. Good switch stance. Push. Slow first. Each. Let's get that timing right. Knee. Sun. Yeah, that's good. She. Go. Yeah. Good. So, you know, like most things that that look very easy, they never are. You know, they look easy, but there's a lot involved in it. So a yakuzuki is a yakuzuki, okay? But the timing's the key, all right? 
So you've got to think like somebody is holding your shoulder and your hip back. I always think it's a bit like, like an elastic band. You hold, 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 bing, and then you've got to let it go at the end. So you don't want you, every, everything to finish and then just have your arm going. Hold, 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 pow, and then let it go, okay? Try again. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. San. She. Go. Speed. So just, if you, if you want something that's, that I found really helpful when I was doing all this was, was those speeds. Feet, hands, hips. They're the different speeds land together. So don't let them all set up at the same time. Okay, let's go. With speed. Nice and light. Light shoulders. Itch. Sup. Shit. Go, Kiai. Yummy. Good. And shake it off. Good. Okay. So this time, we'll do this one and then we'll have a quick drink. So this, this movement here is our stance is loaded. Okay. Hips on me, stance is loaded. So one falls off, not necessarily bouncing, but you're not in a basic, your, your stance is tense ready to go. So the, the idea of this stance is it's like if you, if you have a golf ball, okay, a golf ball, is lots and lots of elastic bands that are round and wound and wound and wound like that. And then when you bounce it, boom, it goes up. And the reason it goes up like that is because you have a lot of energy in there. It's already ready to, to go. And that's what you're doing with your muscles, okay? They are, instead of being settled in a stance here, all of a sudden, when it's like you've gone to, the, to your muscles, you've stretched it, so they're ready to go and explode. So that's the difference with it really. You want to be on here. These are, they're not stiff, but they're just ready to explode. And that's the idea. So this time, slightly shorter, but your footwork will be that. Okay? So you're not bringing your foot in. You're keeping your legs apart, like you've got a bar between your ankles. So you're going boom. So you're pushing off the back leg there. Boom, boom. Okay? What we're going to do, Zamzuki Yakazuki. The temptation will be to do this. That's different. It's not wrong, it's just different footwork. That's not what we're doing, okay? So keep your legs apart. It's hard work on your legs. Zamzuki and Yakazuki. Okay, let's try it slow, right? Load your stance, balls your feet, and go. Each, Kizamazuki Yakazuki. Good, I'm back. Oh, that's good, yeah. Knee. Good. Sun. Chi. Go. Yeah. Rook. Speed. Okay. So already some of you are doing this. One, but bring your back foot up. Like I say, that's not wrong. It's just not this type of footwork. You need different footwork. Feet staying apart, crossing, pulling you from back, all kinds of different footwork to fool your opponent uh, distance-wise. So in this instance, legs apart, don't, don't. Okay? Let's try it fast. Ready? Push. Hey! Knee! Top! Chin! Go, Kiai. Okay, switch stance. Hold on, ready? Don't, don't. Each. Knee. Down. She. Go. Rook. Each. 
<laughs> what we said about keeping the hips back the same. Boom, boom, let it go at the end, okay? All right, with speed. Ready? Shake it off, get yourself a quick drink. Okay, any questions on any of that? Cool, we're good. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna combine some of the punches with the kicks. It's a very simple combination, but again, like all simple conversations, it's that simple, it's hard, okay? And the reason is that there's a reason some techniques work and they're very subtle changes. Some people are, yeah, I know that combination, use it all the time, but it never works for me. It's because you've done something that's a lot wrong. There's a lot involved in it, okay? So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do Kazamazuki, Yakazuki, and then come up Mawashigeri. Easy peasy, okay? So, the height uh, is up to you. It doesn't matter, you don't have to have a high kick, of course, but when you, want, when you actually wanna use this, if you're going up, you go down, so there are guards going like this, and then you come up again, Joe. So, it's awesome. your choice, okay? So first of all, we're just going to do it slow to my count. So what you're going to do is one, two, how was you getting back? Simple, okay? Let's try to my count. Kizamazuki, Yakazuki, front leg, my watch. Itch. Good. Knee. San. Good. She. So you're kicking off your front foot. Oh. Yeah. Good, I'm relaxed. Okay. So I'll just have a little bit of, you know, I'll cut my head off. Well, I'll just have a little bit of a conversation about kicks in general, okay? So um, when it comes to any technique in karate, it should come from the floor up. So your stance where your feet are and so on. That creates the base for your hips and, and, and so on, okay? And never more, so, never more so than when you're kicking. Okay? So when you kick, and that's why a lot of people have hip, knee problems and so on, and back, because of the way um, they're not using the support foot. So if I just change the... See that? Hold on. Okay, so if you can see, I don't know whether you need to get close to your camera or whatever. So, really, one of the best things I was taught was when you kick, is this position of the foot. All right? So, if I do my Gary, it will turn out very slightly for my Gary. Yeah? Very slightly. Okay? If I do Kiyagi, Kiyagi will be 45 degrees. So my Gary, Kiyagi, kicking that way. It's not away. Okay, that's different. That's Kikomi. So my Gary, Kiyagi. Mawashi Gary, Uramawash, Kikomi. And of course, straight back that way for you should have it. So when you turn your foot, that helps your hip. So in other words, if you're doing a mawashi, if you're doing a mawashi and you can put straight here, like that, okay? 
but you'll have your hip replaced by the time turn on your support foot when you do mawashi when you do kikomi okay and when you do kiyagi we won't get into kiyagi because that's a whole class all right um but that's that's the most important thing i would say taking away from this is do the correct position of your support foot for your kick okay that's the important thing and in this case we're going to do mawashi and, and similar kicks so make sure you rotate on the support foot all right so the whole position of the foot yeah i'm going another time but don't leave your foot where it is rotate on the support foot that will release your hip your knee and your kick a you don't get injured b it's a much stronger kick and you know when you hit things yeah us okay let's go so from here so you're gonna do kizamazuki yakazuki and then you're gonna come up and then you rotate you have to rotate on this kick you have to rotate on the support foot that's the key the most important part of this technique okay let's try again so slow rotate on the foot each and rotate so you can really let the hip go good and then he'll step back so you end up in the same place knee kick he'll step back San. Kicking off the front foot, remember? She. Go. Rook. She. Good. Excellent. Okay. So. The reason we did Kizami, Yakazuki, and so on is because, like a few of you are doing now, all of a sudden, all you think about is the kick. So you go, and nothing happens with this. Kizamazuki, you drive in Yakazuki. And the more you go in here, obviously you're making your opponent react, or you're hitting them, literally hitting them. And then from here, the rotation of your body enables your kick. Don't keep your hip back here. Do a one, two, rotate kick, okay? Let's try. Yeah, two. Knee. San. Don't worry about how high it is. You're better off doing a low kick, but turning on your foot, okay? Shit. Ah, Q. Good. And don't do this. Don't go one step up here to do your mawashi. Okay, because you're square on. It's one, two. When we come up here, this comes up on this line here. So you're on one line. Don't come up square and then try and do a kick. This back foot comes up behind your front leg for the mawash, okay? Let's try. Again, nice and relaxed. Don't go overboard on it. It's smooth movement. Knee. That's it. San. Shi. Go. Good. Check it off. Okay, so the other thing is, if I do it to the camera here, what you don't want to see is this. You see my face here and my kick coming around. You want this. You want two. There. Head, body, knee, kick. You don't want that, okay? Looks good on magazine covers, you know, because your head's here, but it's no good when you're using it, okay? You want your body on one line, this way, all right? So now let's try it. When you come up, you want that all on one line. Like somebody's pushing your chin in and your lower back, like this. Let's try. Itch. Knee. 
son. She go. Excellent. Good. Okay. So this time, again to help, one, two, use this next hand. Okay. So when I go, okay, one, two, as I bring my back leg up, I use this, either fist or here, because you cover your back foot coming up and you're filling a gap, because if there's a gap, somebody will fill it, you don't want them to fill it, okay? So one, two, three, and then you kick. And of course, the other reason is, if I come here, look, if you watch, one, two, and then I come up with my kick, you see everything. One, two, there. Then they don't see the kick coming up. Boom. Got it? So it's one, two, bump. So it's bump, 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 kick. One, two, three, kick. Okay, let's try. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go, bum, 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 bum. One line, sheets, bum, 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 bum. Good, excellent, okay, now, so yeah. you've got to do it, okay, as if you're doing the technique to me, okay? So if I'm here, you'll go one, two, and then your back foot is gonna come up, but it doesn't wanna come up on this line. If it comes up on this line, your right foot, then it's very easy for me to block here. When you come up with your back leg, it should come up in line with my front foot. And that way, your foot comes around and kicks here. Understand? So if I do it, you don't want to go like this and kick. You need to come on the outside of that front bit. So you're coming around that front leg, coming across the line, okay? Should we try it? When your back foot comes up now, bring it back up behind your other leg. Let's try. Each, boom, boom, boom. Good, turn on your foot. Knee. Good. Sam. Good. She. That's good. Go. That's good. Sheet. Excellent. Okay, we'll do a little bit faster. Should we try? So now you want this timing. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay? Bam, 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 bam. Try and think of that. Are we ready? Let's go. Eat. Knee. So Ben, turn on your foot. Sam. Same Victoria, you rotate on your foot. Let your hip go across more. Sheet. Huh? Get your hip in on that Yakuzuki. Cute. Horse Tony, that's a good one. Sheet. Ha! And yame, yeah, shake it off. Good. Just rotate your hips. So there's a lot involved in... God, I keep cutting my head off. There's a lot involved in a relatively simple combination, okay? In order for it to work, a lot of things have to happen. And that's why you have to drill it. Make sure you're doing it correct. And it's very easy to go, yeah, it feels good if I bring my back foot up here. Don't. Discipline yourself every time. No, 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 I'm bringing my back foot up. Keep on the same line. Make sure you're covering on the second move. And then all of a sudden, you start hitting people with it. You know, there is a reason for it. It's like, it's like the, same, it's the same attention to detail that you put into kata, okay? The same is because it's all the same thing. Kata's kumite, all right? So... When you're, when you're thinking about your back foot up, it's like you're trying to make the perfect stance, etc. All right? 
don't be blase about when you're doing these sort of combinations. Any questions on any of that? You all okay? Good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use that combination. We're going to change it and put a few different kicks on it. And then I'll try and talk about the kick as well and how we use it. Okay. So Mawashi Gary, we talked about the rotation of the hip. Okay. So now we'll talk about, we'll do it. Probably what I used it a lot for was coming up and hitting with Urama Wash. And Urama Wash is probably one of the most abused kicks. Okay. People do it in all kinds of ways. And oh, I can't do that. It's too high and so on. Okay. So I'll try and give you a few little tips that have made Urama Wash work for me. Okay. So come on. First of all, just, just to warm up and get our hips going for this kick. One, two, come up and back. Okay. So it's the same. One, two, come up, all of my wash, heel step back. Just get our hips working on it. Ready? Itch. Boom, boom, boom. Knee. That's nice, Tony. Good. Sam. Yeah, good. She. Yeah, it's good, Mark. Go. Rook. Good. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to bring in my faithful assistant, okay? Bob. Okay. So, Bob. It seems to be in midget mode for some reason. It's not because I can't kick eye anymore. <laughs> it's because I can't move him. For some reason he's, he's jammed, all right? But if you give you an idea of how we use the kick. So I'll show you that in a second. So the thing is, with Urama washes, of course, you rotate on the foot. The same as you would for Mawashi. That's the key. But the difference with Urama washes is the timing for it. So a little bit like Kikomi, when you do Urama wash, your foot will finish a split second before you kick. And so, because what people do is, they kick and they turn at the same time and they do that. So your foot, your hip's going that way and your foot's going that way. So it has no impact on the target, okay? So your foot should finish and then the kick out happens. Just a split second behind it, okay? And also your hip for Urama Wash is that. It's, it comes up and hooks in. It's like a sweeping up that way. That, that. That's the movement with Urama Wash. But there's two things that were the most valuable things I was taught with this. First was that turn kick, turn kick. And the other is everybody holds their breath on this kick. So because they're thinking about pulling the kick back, so they go, I'm back. So you have to force the breath out on Urama Wash. So when you kick, literally do it so you can hear your breath. <sighs> because you'll find that your body doesn't tighten up there. Okay? So when we're hitting Bob here, you're coming up. The foot finishes slightly before. And then that. And it's, it's easy. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't feel tight. Really relaxed. And in, yeah, up and there, yeah, and then just bring it off. But your foot finishes and then your hip happens. It's not clunky and horrible. Okay, should we try it? Let's give it a go. So from here, look, one, two, come up, order my wash and bring it back. Nice and relaxed, okay? Each, one, two. Knee, one, two. And listen, kick waist tight. Doesn't matter. Kick here. Look. That's better than kicking up here and it being wrong. She. Go. Rook. Good. Okay, so if you take anything away from this class, 
That's probably one of the best things I'll tell you. First, it's ro rotating on the foot. And when it comes to Urama wash, let the foot finish just slightly before the kick. It finishes, and then you can use your hips. Kikomi is the same. Kikomi, your foot finishes slightly before the kick happens. Otherwise, Kikomi becomes a rotation. It should finish, boom. Kikomi is the same, you know? You know, boom, the hip goes in, yeah? So finish, kick. Okay? Are we all right with that? Any questions on that? You okay? Yeah? Let's try a few then, okay? And again, it's not height. Don't worry about height. Breathing, timing on the foot. Ready? Let's go. Each. Two. Knee. One, two. San. That's good, Victoria. You're putting your hip into it now. That's much better. San. That's it. The more you drive your hip in, the easier then it is to come up for the kick. Shit. Ha. Q. Keep your eye on the target. Ju. Good. The other thing as well in general is you don't want your head going side to side like this when you're doing your kick. When you're doing your combination, it wants to be like that. Keep your head there. Don't have your body going side to side. So you're not giving away your movement. Especially when you're going up and down and you come up again. The other side doesn't react to it. Don't want then they get kicked, okay? Right, last five, speed and power. We're ready? And then we're done. God, that went fast. Are we ready? Each. Knee. That's it. Step up, then step over. Some. She. This time, Kiai, go. And yummy. Good. Oh, son, shake it off. So I don't know whether you can let everybody speak now, if you like, and then if anybody's got a question, you can ask me. Everyone's on mute okay. now. Everybody okay with that? Awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. 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 But just so you don't miss me too much, I'm like, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs>